Hmm. <laughs> I try to come up with a witty answer and I don't have one. Yeah. So I've got the letter here, the email that was sent to every student and staff member in the university. Mm-hmm. It's quite long. Um, yes. Just managed to get it on one page. Can you summarise it for me? <laughs> yeah. So it went through many redrafts as each day we had different information. Um, so the general message is to make sure that everyone knows that as a campus, we are here to be an inclusive global community and that in a time of so much uncertainty that every member of staff here should be helping those who are having a really difficult time right now because of the uncertainty um, and trying to signpost people to who can actually help. And the idea and the comms plan with the university and us is that it's all joint, is that students and staff are all getting as much information as we can give out. Um, but unfortunately, that's that amount of information is just not a huge amount at the moment. Um, so we've just got to try and be as clear as possible so that everyone has the same information. How important is it, and do you think it's right, for universities and unions to engage in political matters? Which, in the previous letter, I think there was the line, um, something about uh, our global community enriching all of our lives. Mm -hmm. And you could argue that that is quite falling on one side of the Brexit argument. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's right, that universities and unions should take sides in Mm -hmm. a very divisive political matter? Yep, I think... What both organisations need to do, the university and LUU, is stand by their values. Both of us have values of inclusiveness. Um, So actually, regardless of what any party is standing for um, or any (laughs) outside opinions, those are our values. That's what we've got to um, stay true to. Um, And I think inclusiveness means accepting everybody it means having a global community on campus and it means learning from one another and accepting accepting everybody um so if that if standing by those values sounds like being on the side of a party like that's that's kind of a byproduct that's not what it's about it's about us staying true to what we've promised as an organization more than anything mm. Do you think there's any argument that could be made that there'll be people who voted for Brexit who align like that, they might feel pretty put out by that. So are they being included? Mm -hmm. I think, I genuinely believe that we've tried really hard to get the comms right, that it's just informational. It's not we think any certain way, it's just this is what we know so far and we want everybody on our campus to feel safe, whether they're a staff member or a student um, or a member of the public coming in. But I don't think it's ever our job to tell people what they should think. Mm-hmm. It's our job to make sure people have the information, so that's what we've tried to do. Yeah. So last year there was a referendum in the union um, about whether LUU should campaign for a people's vote. Um, that didn't hit quorum, not Mm -hmm. enough people voted for it. Firstly, do you think that says more about Brexit or about LUU, if that makes sense? I would say that says a lot about how divided people are. People were so confused, and I think that is just the overarching thing, is that everyone's like, but what does that mean? Well, even if I vote for this, is anything going to happen? Which I think is the attitude of so many people, and understandably, (laughs) because... um, what we're told isn't necessarily what happens all the time and everything is so unclear and everyone's changing their mind every five minutes um, that I think right now it's really hard to engage with politics generally mm. um, because it's it's hard to trust people right now. Yeah. So that didn't pass. Mm-hmm. So LUU supposedly wasn't campaigning for a people's vote. Mm-hmm. Four months later, LUU are marching in London in a people's vote march. Mm-hmm. What do you think that says about trust? Um, that was, I believe, NUS funded buses. Okay. Um, so it was just, uh, there will be buses. If you want to come, you can come. Okay. The wording of the news story on the LU website was, your union will be marching. Right. <laughs> At the time, Chris Morris definitely led on that, and I can't pretend yeah. to have loads of information about it, so I'm not going to make anything up. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I try to come up with a witty answer and I don't have one. Yeah. Um, I think, not wanting to speak on behalf of Chris, but there is a strong argument that actually what we're fighting for is democracy. <laughs> um, 
and as a democratic union, that is what we stand for. Um, I think there's an argument both ways. I see how I can see how it would. It looks like we're supporting one side of an argument, um, but also it's really important that we give as many opportunities to our members to use their voice in whatever way that is. Mm -hmm. um, and that was one of those opportunities. Everything happens in London and we're not near London. So <laughs> yeah. making that accessible to people who want to yeah. be part of it is really important for us. <laughs> so that, the letter, the email. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's all about a message of inclusivity, especially aimed at people who are, who might be affected by Brexit. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite long. Could you, what would you say? in not as many words as this yes. to somebody who <laughs> might be quite concerned because their future is really uncertain. What's yep, your message? Definitely. I would say until we have any more information, or like as soon as we get it, we'll be putting that out. It will be going out in as many ways as we can possibly disseminate it. Um, but if, you, if this is personally affecting you, please come and speak to the help and advice team. Um, they, are, they have been prepped for this. Um, anyone will sit down and speak to you um about how you're feeling um how this is affecting you we can't promise to have the answers to things but what we can do is is help anyone who is concerned and affected um to try and find the answers and to support them the best way we can and i do believe that both the university and all the staff here at the union are completely committed to trying to make things as easy as we can for people that's that's just quite a difficult job at the moment